everyone, this is Charlie from Godzilla Fan 2000, and today we'll be talking about the top 10 expensive Godzilla figures. Yeah, this list is going to dominate, you think. Well, it's not, because guess what? I'm actually talking, not talking about SH Monster Arts, X Plus, or even the Bandai environments made in um, J Japan. I'm talking about the original Bandai figures. So, this is the top 10 expensivest Bandai Godzilla figures. Number 10, Godzilla 1968 paint tag. This figure is really rare, and I have actually, I, by the way, I actually have one, and I got it for 9 bucks. You guys probably got it for 500, huh? Well, I got one for my, 9, and it's, it doesn't have the tag. So, haha, I got you. But this thing is expensive $118 with tax shipping. And that is an insane amount of price. I also saw one for $84, and I think at showcase.kaiju they have it for 39 So, yeah, I'm glad I got mine for $9, but it is a really expensive um, piece, and collectors probably have it, and I'm, so I'm happy with mine. 9, Godzilla 1974 and 1975. Well, actually, not number four, number nine, and number eight. Sorry, guys. Number four, number nine, number eight. Godzilla 1974 and 1975. These both figures are really great. I heard there's one with Mecha Godzilla on the inside. I think that's 74, and it's really great. Let's start with 74. It's a really nice figure, and I think a lot of adult fans have him in its collection. And I wish I had mine in the collection, but in his in my collection, but sadly I don't. Um, and 74, I mean, sorry, 75 is a good figure as well, it's exactly the same. They're available for really expensive prices, though. 85 bucks, well, I saw it. Number 7, Titanosaurus. Yeah, I don't even know, this figure was rare, but it's rare. So, Titanosaurus costs 185 and 135. He came with a Morio box set, I think, with Godzilla 75, but... Yeah, it's really expensive, the band I figure. Bigger than Mecha Godzilla and bigger, probably bigger price, I mean. But I don't know why Titanosaurus is just so expensive. I mean, these asking prices are just so big. This guy is really famous, and for a lot of reasons. By the way, there are two versions of him. Two versions, so don't get confused. Anyway, number six, Gorosaurus. Uh, same as Titanosaurus, well, this figure is a bit special in Titanosaurus, but why is Gorosaurus so expensive? It's not making me mad, but it's just making me wonder why he's so expensive. I mean, Gorosaurus, Gorosaurus was mostly shown in King Kong Escapes, but he mostly was shown in Destroy All Monsters. Well, a little bit. He cost $130. Well, I found him for that price, and more. This makes me wonder why he's so expensive and so great in the collection. Anyway, that's Saurus, I mean, so expensive. Number five, Jet Jaguar pink tag. Again, another pink tag. Jet Jaguar is really rare, and I mean really, $300 for him, and I saw one selling him for $1,000. Man, that is expensive. It really expensive. Clawmark Toys used to sell him for 95 Man, now, they used to sell him for 15 I believe, back in the day. But now, he is really rare and expensive, I mean, really expensive, and I don't even know why I'm scratching my head to this day. And I really, really want him, 99 from showcase.kaiju, anyway, that's Jet Jaguar. Number 4, Biolante. Oh, now we're getting serious. Biolante, definitely one of the most popular and most expensive figure Bandai figure I've ever seen. Biolante retails at about $1,000 or $400. Yes, you heard that come out of my mouth. It comes with a box and everything. That is expensive. And I'm definitely probably not going to get this figure because it's so expensive. Anyway, number three, Monster X. Bandai Monster X. This figure is really rare. And is part of the Final Wars expensive ranges and is very expensive. He can sometimes be fined for a hundred dollars, but that's still an expensive price for this run figure. He's a bit rare, not as much rare, but he is rare, not as rare as Kaiser, but he's actually still rare. I mean, he looks cool anyways, but he's really expensive too. Kaiser Ghidorah. Yeah, it's one of the most expensive figures out there. Kaiser Ghidorah retails for $300.
but he can be found a bit cheaper, like he can be found for 200. Still a really expensive figure and a sought after figure in the Godzilla toys. And similar to Monster X, Kaiser though is 100% rare than Monster X. He's just so rare and he's probably my number one Godzilla toy I really want. Expensive is the Forever Series Godzilla. Oh, this thing is awesome. <laughs> oh. So, it's part of the Bandai Museum Godzilla uh, toy range um, from Bandai Museum. But the Forever, I don't, well, I don't think it's part of that. But for the Forever Series Godzilla, this toy is freaking awesome. And I'm, I, I am serious. If I look at it, it's God. Costs $809 expensive, but all oh, hail the king, it's awesome. Expensive, really. It's a great figure, but however, it's really expensive. $700 for this off Clawmark Toys, and they still have it. No one's going to get it. But, oh, hail the king. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, up to 100 if one person clicks the subscribe button. So thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And tell me in the comments section what your favorite Godzilla figure is out of these. And which one you really want to get in the comments section. Definitely that Forever Series Godzilla is awesome. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. See you, G-Fans.